Hey, the audio is actually pretty bad in this one from the other side because he was in a kitchen and someone was cooking. I do mention it later, but yeah, the first part of this is going to be pretty annoying. Just giving you a heads up. The episode begins with um, uh, um, Kirito being woken up by one of the nun girls. Kirito. Um, uh, Kazuto Kirigaya, um, if you prefer. Um. <laughs> also known as Kirito, because, uh, <laughs> apparently he's just telling people he's, he's Kirito now, in the real world. <laughs> like and it's he... just like, I don't want to tell everybody my real name, so it's just Kirito. <laughs> yes, yes, this one. Um, he wakes up, um, and, um, uh, but he gets woken up by the nun, and for a second, okay. he thinks that the nun is his little sister cousin thing for no reason. I hope that that better come back later. That was just a waste of time. Um, and then for like a split second, and then it continues. And they sit by the tree and spout exposition. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Kirito and the yellow. Kirito and the ye- We're just going to call the yellow hair guy yellow Kirito. That's okay. what, that's just what we're gonna do. Okay, Yellow Kirito just sat by. He just they just sit by the tree doing that cutting down the tree thing and this spout exposition again about like ah oh man, like goblins and stuff are in the area. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, then they talk more about the past that we already know because we saw episode one. Um, <laughs> On episode three, I know, and I'm like, they're still on expedition. I know, right? They're still... Like Jesus, <laughs> every single SAO thing you talk about, it has expedition. <laughs> they just keep talking. Digibro did a video. Um, he de- he's doing a video on every episode of SAO. Um, okay. but he's doing it for the meme. So like. Mm-hmm. The second episode, he just recorded himself recording some phil- philosophical, well-written philosophical dialogue between two people to make fun of how much they talk uh, in this show. <laughs> like, he's so mean. He's so he just mean. went out and read philosophy to his audience for ten minutes over Sword Art Online footage of the characters talking. <laughs> oh my god. He needs to chill. <laughs> just because he's like, bro, they just talk for a whole episode <laughs> um but like um they do they, the thing is they do slightly more here so the sword that the kid the kids got in episode one um gets brought back and um they kirito has the idea to use it to cut down the tree um okay the, and um uh they 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 progress nowhere because kirito hits the wrong part of the tree and the other guy is not good with swords. So they progress nowhere and they go back to just doing nothing and cutting the tree down very slowly with an axe. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's the reason of cutting this tree down? Because, okay, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I told you if I did, I, you must have forgot. Um, they're cutting down, they're cutting down this tree because it was exp- exp- exposited in episode two that the tree is taking up space next to the village so the village cannot expand until the tree is cut down because it takes up all the energy in the area um, because yeah so they have to cut yeah, down I heard, the... I heard this tree has a high hp counter like, yeah it's a high chart. high a- hp and high durability they Kirito uses a sword skill and he hits the wrong part of the tree and it only does one damage um, but so that's what happens there and um, uh, so after them expositing and then cutting down the tree and then failing to progress on that tree cutting um, um, endeavor um, I'm, I'm, I'm blinking a little bit but then it just goes to Kirito back at the, pl- at the, at the church and he's taking a bath and then the girl is there um, she doesn't walk in on him, so, hey, Sora Online did something right. Um, (laughs) 
So, but yeah. then what happens is the is so weird, just like plot wise. Okay, so like okay. he ends up talking with the girl a little bit because the girl ends up being the little sister of Alice. You know, the girl who um, got taken away for breaking the rules. Um, she's mm-hmm. the little sister of Alice, and the girl just spills her guts to Kirito, a guy she just met yesterday. <laughs> I, I was so she starts crying and stuff and i'm like wait and the music and the music's out here like trying to make me feel like, bad I just know you I, i'm like bro i just met you last episode and you've had like 10 lines of dialogue maybe and i'm so <laughs> and I'm supposed to. What was to. she telling her? What was he telling them about? Uh, she was she was telling him about like, oh man, uh, everyone looks at me because I look like my sister. It's not my fault that my sister was taken away. And then uh, and then like um, yellow Kirito won't look at me um, because he looks so sad, and everyone feels so sad when they look at me because Alice was so great and they're taken away. And then and, uh, it's not my fault. And then she just crying and stuff. And I'm like, bro, why? <laughs> This is some personal stuff that she's never told anybody, and it's just telling it to Kirito. And Kirito, being the epithetic dude that he is, takes this all straight face like a board. <laughs> and feels like nothing. And I'm like, I mean, I'm like, Kirito, like, you know, I feel nothing, but like, Kirito, you're supposed to be helping her or something. I know, yeah, what are you doing? It's like, you're like, and he's like, you know, I may have, um, it's like, hey, man, if you, like, he doesn't even help her with her situation or explain to her anything. What he does is, is that he just tells her, you know, it's okay to cry. At my age, I cry. And then she's like, oh, so did you get your memories back? What? No. And then he just moves on. And I'm just like... <laughs> 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 just like, the problem is totally unfinished. Um, yeah, no, problem not solved. So what he ends up doing is telling her... Wh- the thing is, apparently no one's told her why Alice um, was taken away anyway. So he mm-hmm. tells her that it's because she went into dark territory. Um, and then immediately after that, she says, Okay, well, it's time to go to bed. Um, and I won't be waking you up anymore tomorrow. Which confused me initially. Because I was like, wait, hasn't he only been here for like one day? Why are you immediately dropping him like that? And then I thought about it for like two more seconds. I'm like, oh, she's going into the mountain for dark ter- to dark territory. And then she's missing in the morning. And then she went into the cave to go to dark territory. And I hope that has a reason. I hope. Oh, what's going on over there? Someone building a house? <laughs> Okay, but well, like, like, like to the uh, uh, SAO episode. There's not much left, so like, he, he um, just they go into the cave to chase after her, him and Yellow Kirito, and um, uh, they find her, and there's goblins in the cave. Next episode, they're gonna fight go- goblins or something, but none of them have a weapon, so I'm guessing that's gonna just work itself out. But my whole thing is. And like how I feel about this episode what I feel is is that we're three episodes into this show and we have progressed nowhere <laughs> it sounds like it just sounds like a lot of expeditions exposition elaborating on episode one <laughs> I know why are we and still they talking added a tree I know this that's, tree that's what I got I, that's what I got from this this show I don't think and the thing is they're not gonna move from this spot till that tree is gone <laughs> Like, that's that's the thing. And I'm like, so when are they going to figure out to just cut that tree down? Because, like, we ain't going anywhere until the tree's gone because the man's not going to leave. Because his whole purpose is to cut down that tree. Um, and um, we're still here. So I have had to reassess my rating of the show so far to a 5 out of 10 because nothing has happened. Jeez, man, did the, is there an earthquake? <laughs> So, the only thing positive I could say about this episode, really, because this episode has been just, it was either nothing or negativity. Um, So, one thing positive I could say was, you know, I just realized the OP song is pretty good, you know. The the song's pretty good. I'm not, and... Oh, 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 okay, you might hear a hurricane. What were you saying? But, like, the OP 
it sounds good. It's a good song. It's a good song. Is it really though? I mean, it's done by Lisa. She did the first OP. Oh. So there's that's your there, there's your standard. <laughs> the first OP was good sound wise. I mean, when you think about it visually. So I'm just saying, like, show's now a 5 out of 10 because we're three episodes in and nothing has happened since episode one. Yo, it should be, it should be a 3 out of 10 because there's only three episodes and those episodes are trash. <laughs> nah, I can't give it a 3. Oh, but I can say this. They had some weird action animation. I know. That's... Wait, what? What were you saying, KJ? I said it had some weird action animation though. Like when they were coming up on that tree, like they over animated it and they used some weird angles, so it just looked weird. <laughs> Yo, know, like fate. Like oh. Fate zero. Oh, dude. Fate zero be looking like that. Well, wait, have you been watching Fate? <laughs> no, you 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 showed us. It. You showed it. To I us. showed you Fate Unlimited Blade Works a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to watch it. It doesn't look. Bruh, okay, you know, actually, do you have access to YouTube right now? <laughs> no. Okay, okay, never mind. I keep doing this with her hand and telling me no. But, I'm like, say no. the thing is, there's a, like, if you, when you get access to YouTube or something, like, watch this video, Monday. like, Monday. Tr trying to understand fate by Giga. Actually, I'll just show it to you guys when you get here. And it's a perfect understanding of how to try and get into fate. And it's basically this fan of fate telling him, like, the first question he asks is, where do I begin? And then the fate fan's like, okay, you could ask us any question but that one. <laughs> <laughs> After this, we kind of just derail and start talking about personal stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to leave that in there. Um, so, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe if you want to see this every week. Sorry this one was a little later than the last one. Um, I didn't get to call, start recording till later in the day, and I wanted to go to bed. So, yeah, it was later, but... It's not like a lot of people watch this anyway. It's not going to affect my viewership too much. Wish it did. Then I... That'd be good. Anyway, see you next time.